flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure, air flights. And you're now listening to the mind of an Terry's moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God's duties and motherfucking responsibilities. Now let's get into it. Mercury and Virgo. Okay, Mercury loves being here. Not as much as Gemini, but this is one. This is one of the only Earth signs that Mercury loves to be in because Virgo deals with the uh, the mental. Virgo deals with the nervous system also. You know what I'm saying? So you have Mercury, which is the communication sign. It loves to be in air, but it's it's a fast moving, so it's mobile, it's mutable, and it loves and it loves being in the only Earth sign it likes to be in because it rules Virgo. So with Virgo here, it 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 slows it down, but it slows Mercury down in a way that Mercury likes. Like, see, when Mercury is in Taurus, it's like it has to slow down and it really necessarily doesn't want to because it feel like it's moving too slow in Capricorn it, mo is, it moves fast but it's not supposed to so it, 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 get, it trips over rocks and bricks and shit you know what I'm saying and, and, and fall on his ass a few times before I get it right this is why a lot of Capricorns in their life they have harsh lives and bad lives because it's something that they need to learn so they can build their own foundation to stand on where they're gonna keep falling until they learn. Now, when it comes into Virgo, see the mutability in Virgo helps it a lot because it's able to move. It's not stuck in a rut like in Taurus, or it's not tripping over bricks and shit like that like in Capricorn. It's able to be in a boat or some or some physical earth thing that can move, that can move along. So it's, it's so it's, it's moving at a rapid pace. And when it's in Virgo, it's able to. It's, it's able to look at the details and and what does what does Mercury like to do? Communicate. So it communicates the details. But this is why a Mercury and Virgo person can come across uh, like criticizing or come across as dictating someone else's moves because Virgo is deals with the nerves, also Mercury, and it deals with communication. So these people can't help but to express that they have to speak that because if they don't they're going to feel like they're doing themselves a disjustice because it may not be done right and Virgos like things to be done right if it's not being done right that's a scary situation so for a Virgo a Virgo uh, Mercury person communicates these things and these people can talk themselves into wonderful situations Especially dealing with like jobs, interviews, anything like that, because in school they're smart. They they know how to. They know the details behind words. So they they know how to get words and and put them in the places that they're supposed to be in. So a lot of Mercury and Virgo people they can like not even really be into school like that, but they can know how to use certain words the way they're supposed to use it. You ever been around a smart dumb person that like you know for an example say a bunch of big words. A lot of people say T.I. do this or Kevin Gates do this, but I'm not saying I say they do that, but for an example, they may put a, say a lot like a big word or something like that, but put it into a sentence that, that turns into a, a, a dichotomy. Like, it's, it, it wasn't that, for, for purposes, that word wasn't supposed to be used in that type of way term or in that term or in that way, shape, form, or fashion. You know what I'm saying? So, but they say it to make you think that they smart. Things like this is what Virgo Mercury people pick up on and they automatically know how to put the right words in the right ways into the right sentences you know what I'm saying so you can't come you can't come around no uh, Mercury and Virgo person uh, being a smart dumb nigga can't do that you know what I'm saying because before y'all even get to the point of your conversation y'all gonna be talking about every piece of the conversation before y'all get to the point y'all even talking to like talking about like for an example say y'all talking about uh, the new Jays or something like that right and you talk to a, Mer a Mercury and Virgo uh, person. So you tell them, you like a smart dumb nigga. You tell them that, uh, you say some shit like, well, Jordan's, uh, Jordan's was so marvelous back in 1998. Now, on hood terms, a hood person will know what each other's saying, but I'm talking about in a, in a perfect world where everything is common, common English or whatever like that. Now, the v Mercury and Virgo person on t now, you know what they trying to say, but instead of you saying that they was good shoes back in 1998, you're gonna you're gonna talk about the how he just used the word marvelous, and 
before y'all even talk about the shoes again, y'all have to get past that because the, Mer the Mercury and Virgo person is going to be sitting there dictating it and criticizing the yo, usage of the word. And even though they may know what you're talking about because they're smart enough to know and it deals with the nerve system, they first initial communication reaction to the, the initial statements is just going to be to nitpick you. You know what I'm saying? Because they want you to get it right. Because they, they want everything to be perfect at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? It may not feel like that with inside it. And see, with them Mercury and Virgo people, or even Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, to a certain degree, nothing feels right already. You know what I'm saying? Nothing, not, everything feels like it's not perfect. So this is what makes them want to be perfect at what they do because they already see everything is not being perfect. And it's a lack of Venus here, so it's a lack of love here. You know what I'm saying? So dealing with the communication, which is Mercury and Virgo, uh, these people, they they communicate and express flaws, you know what I'm saying, but in a very articulate way, you know what I'm saying, so if, if this person got like a, uh, went to college and, and got PhDs or whatever, whatever kind of shit y'all get in college for graduating that shit, y'all, uh, these people can very, talk themselves into any situation, you know what I'm saying, know how to analyze every situation. Only thing they just have to worry about is, uh, to stop being so critical. Because others may lack information or others may lack communication skills. but So they may come across like they don't know what they're talking about. But as the Mercury and Virgo, you should understand. And you already know. You know. If you're a Mercury and Virgo, you motherfuckers know. Y you know y'all be understanding what niggas saying. And, and, and girls be saying and stuff like that. And even on the female side. Mercury uh, and Virgo females. Y'all definitely do this. Y'all play on people. Play on people's emotions. And play on play on dudes. And y'all make dudes kill people over y'all. What the fuck is wrong with y'all, man? Mercury and Virgo... Listen, we listen. When somebody trying to explain something to y'all, and since y'all already not that emotional, y'all y'all it goes in one ear. Y'all know what that person trying to say, but just for the sake of argument, for the sake of the situation, you nitpick and criticize the little things that has nothing to do with the subject, just because you want to be you and want to be a little smart ass. Goddamn. <laughs> but I love all y'all, man. Mercury and Virgo people, y'all the shit. Y'all y'all very smart. I put I can tell y'all to read something for me. Cause I don't feel like sitting down looking at the details and all that. I love y'all motherfuckers. So yeah, man, flight boss bitch, let's go to the next sign.